Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? And welcome back to the second Let's Play of F1 2021, my team. And we have the Chinese Grand Prix. It's the first time we're racing in China in this game. Because last season we didn't have the Chinese Grand Prix. I added it this year, replaced, with a, uh, replaced it with a race. And I think China is actually a great track to race on. Overall, it's a great weekend. The atmosphere is great. We're going to head into the Chinese Grand Prix. We're heading from a race win. A car is looking solid, but... Uh, I'm not too sure, I'm not too confident of how we're going to continue the race pace throughout the season because our cars, our car usually is very good at one track and usually not that so great on the other one so it's going to be very inconsistent throughout the season we're going to head and try for, to battle for the championship it might happen, it might not happen, we'll find out and honestly, let's get into qualifying guys Get ready to jump out if you get too hot in there. There's a problem with the cooling system, wow. and it's going to take us a few minutes to correct it. What a great start to the see What a great start to the session, guys. Let's go. Oh my God, like how many system faults are we going to have? It's the second race, and it's the second system fault already. I'm, I'm getting scared of the reliability of this car this season. We didn't have that many reliability issues last season. Touch wood. But this season, it's not looking. It's looking grim. Yeah, it's going the first uh, lap of qualifying. And... <clears throat> it's China, the, okay, there's a lot of traffic. So we gotta manage the DS. First lap, so it's probably not gonna be over this lap time of this session. But... China is a track where there's a lot of slow corners. I'm gonna manage that. Their car setup needs to be on point. But it's also got that long straight, so you can't have too much drag on the straight. At the end of the first corner, just maintaining that car balance, not letting it slide too much, letting the natural motion go through stuff. Out of the exit, chop shift, and into the straight. That corner is probably the toughest, where you gotta let the car, let the car motion through it, without worrying too much of putting acceleration into the motion. Exit. Tire take wise, I think this track definitely pushes your car to temperature. Car to temperature is already very high. See, this track corner definitely pushes your car. Take the inside line straight on the corner. Tire temps are getting high now, that's not great. A lot of engine braking, look at why. That's not going to be the greatest thing we've done, but... Messed up the final corner there, and... We have beat 12 at the moment. Yeah, that was not a greatest lap. Oh no! We might be out of Q1. Car repairs have set us back a little. Engine fired, we're set. Oh no, the body under body might have messed us up, guys. We might be out in Q1. We don't have enough time, I think. Just we really have to push to even get to the line. We might miss it to be honest. Underbody damage messed us up bad. It's a challenge to even get to the line at the moment. Okay, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Okay, here we go, guys. Final lap. We have to get a good time. We got dirty air in front of us with a massive thing. But we gotta try our hardest, let's see what we can do. Short shifting. 
Schumacher in front of us though, we gotta get ahead of him, we gotta get some clean air. If we don't, we're gonna get in trouble. We had to send it, we had to send it, we're gonna get clean air now, so we might have lost some time, but clean air is definitely gonna help us. Really pushing those tires. Really fighting the car at the moment, guys. Got to get a time up, so. Ooh, really push the car there. Those tires are gonna be on fire for sure. Yeah, the car to the front left is gone. We gotta really nail the exit, and we might be good. We'll see. Oh, we parked the car really where the exit was good. A second up, a second up on a time. Did we make it? Did we make it? We just barely made it, guys. Into Q2, we just barely made it on P14. Oh, what an intense, intense lap that we got clean air in front of us as well. Very important. Here we go. First lap of Q2. Pushing the car. We'll push the car, try to get in the first corner. A smooth exit. Let the car guide through. Let the car guide through. Not shape. That was decent. But we don't know. I really gotta perfect this lap. Car pace isn't looking the greatest. I don't know if you can qualified or not. It doesn't look like you can qualify. A pace at China doesn't look the greatest as a car or as a team, so. Oh. oh, we definitely lost him there. Parker's temperatures are high. Here we go, here we go, find a corner. P6 at the moment, a second off the pole position. That is not good. I start at P12. Lando Norris at pole, but Lewis Hamilton and Walshi Boras as pole. Cool. Okay, this Q2 is in it, never know. The Chinese Grand Prix then is upon us once more. A race that saw Michael Schumacher claim his final Formula One victory in 2006 as well as Red Bull's first with Sebastian Vettel in 2009. There's no doubt we've got plenty more drama to come here in Shanghai. Shanghai International Circuit then, a 16-corner high-speed thrill ride. The long and ever-tightening right-hander at turns one and two tests a driver's patience, and the flat, open to the elements location, tests their skill in a crosswind. Two DRS zones will assist passing, and overtaking is available into turn one, and of course, down the kilometre-long back straight into the hairpin at turn 14. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box and it's fantastic to have you with us here today but I'm curious as a man with experience out on the track how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into Turn 1. It's all a bit like going into battle and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. 
And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lando Norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday and will start from pole position. And Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Ricardo, Max Verstappen and Perez. Leclerc, Sainz, Gasly and George Russell. Tigtum, the Golden Boy, Esteban Ocon and Fettel. Giovinazzi, Schwartzman, Lance Stroll, and Yuki Tsunoda. Latifi, Nisani, Mick Schumacher, and Nikita Mazepin. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Okay, guys, let's look at the grid line up. Um... Fourth position for Lando, excellent. That's exactly what we didn't want. Valtteri and Lewis are the top three. Daniel Ricciardo. Oh. Basically, we we starting Pedro, which isn't the worst. We're starting on hards. Is not right. Yeah, we're gonna go medium to hards. That's we're gonna do one stop. And that's the best we can do. Guys, it's gonna be lights, lights out of Shanghai. And away we go. Good decent start. Russell is ahead of us. Dan Tikto. We try. Oh, okay. We just closed the door. I don't know if he got some damage or not. Vehicle uh, condition. Got that confirmed. We're gonna try to send it. Ready, popping wheels at the moment. Vehicle condition. Bro, Russell is driving. They're in first. The difference is 3.2 seconds. Oh, no. Vehicle condition. Vehicle condition. No issues with tire wear for now. Keep taking care of them. Russell is on top, so that is why he is ahead of us. Stopping for me. 
We'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left in our strategy. Pit window opens in 12 laps time. 12 laps. Okay. That's cool. The R is enabled and we're not even close to getting the R right. Teammate status. Teammate status. We're leading our teammate by 5.2 seconds. They're on fresh hearts. They're in 18. The time last lap was a 139.1. Oh, Yuki is doing a hard strategy. Hard to medium, probably one stop. I'm just doing the opposite, starting on medium and then going hard. I get DRS. I better I got DRS man. Yes! 200 IQ play. That's a 200 IQ play right there. Big brain, big brain. Oh, he's gonna go around the outside though, right? He's not that crazy. Higher deck is looking crazy high though. He already comes up this time. Jeff, more updates. Confirmed our gap to the car in front is 4.2 seconds. We've been informed of an incident which has resulted in lots of loose debris on the track. The safety car is being deployed. Do we pit under safety car? That's the question. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. All in, bro. We have taken the lead at the moment. We have taken the lead. Just need to catch the safety car now. That safety car kinda is a blessing because it'll gain a lot of track position at the moment. Approaching the safety car, you're leading, so don't pass it. Stay behind the safety car. This has really turned the tables. Yeah, 
Daniel Ricardo is out of the session. Oh, that's a big blow to my parent. Constructors. I mean, I think it's too early to think about constructors. This is just the second week. We need to focus up and just focus. We'll try to perform the best we can. in this lap, safety car in this lap. You will be controlling the pace on the restart. Keep it steady until the safety car has reached the pit lane. Fronts are cold. Okay guys, it's gonna be the restart. Second safety and the second race. And really pack up the bunch. Here we go! I've really packed up the bunch there. Green flag gap to teammate behind is 5.0 seconds. Be real quick. Lando's pace looks extremely good though. Yeah, that is definitely cool. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Me and Lando crashed. Wow. Why was crash? Never seen that before. Yellow. Okay. I thought another safety car. The so air is out. Gasly. What does that mean? Fear is out. Okay, Fear has a retirement. That's pretty unfortunate. There's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now. They are out of the race. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, okay. Fuck oh, you there, man. He's so fast. Jesus Christ. How did Bonas even get a fast snap? Oh, no, no, no. Solid lead at the moment. We don't have a good enough pace to like actually build a gap to Nando, but we're doing our best keeping him at bay. Which is the best we can do. Nando is going for the shot on the inside. He is going for it. He is going for it. We think we, think we got a better exit though. Yeah, we got a better exit. Oh my god, what a move by Lando. His fresh tires are definitely doing him a favor. Park the car, park the car, bro. No. No, guys. No, Mikey, no, this is so not right. Driver behind. Perez is behind you. The gap is less than a second. They're on old mediums. Their tires are five laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 138.1. Write some information on Hamilton. They have some kind of mechanical problem. Oh. Maybe car? Somebody fit it. 
Box, box. We're coming in this lap. Okay. Complete, go now. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. We got the hearts on and we are AP 18 at the moment. Somehow. Full race update. Full race update. You're sat in P18. P18. Ocon is ahead of you. They're on fresh hearts. Ticked them behind. Okay, oh the gap God. behind is 25.8 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. 14 laps to go. is 4.7 seconds. Jeff, what the fuck should I do? Yikes! Some slight damage, but nothing too serious. That's not good. Oh, great. Underbody damage. Can you make it any better? Mm, can you make it better? Stars, can you? Catch this bitch. Catch him! Catch him all. It's a history. I see you and you see me. Pokemon. Gotta catch him all. Pokemon. Metal has fallen behind though. Something wrong with metal. Gato, puta sign. Five laps of fuel remaining. How oh, the clear built the big ass gap in here? Oh my god, that shit is big. Oh my god. 
Lando wins, he's been very competitive in the McLaren to be honest. Even last race he finished P2, so he's not really in the front structures now. As for me. Yeah. Oh no, no. Yeah guys, this is gonna be the end of the Chinese Grand Prix. Not the greatest weekend, but we gotta go back to the drawing board, figure out what we can do better, because this wasn't it. A race pace I call it That's the end of the race, race. we'll see you in part for me. We need to put some on the upgrades in, ready go back and see what we did wrong, because it went wrong this week. It's a performance to be proud of from our Chinese Grand Prix winners today. That Grand is happy. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralised. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. As the winners make their way up to the podium, one can only imagine the celebrations that will take place at McLaren tonight. Congratulations to everyone on the team, securing the win and proving they're a force to be reckoned with out on the track. Okay. There guys, that was uh, the Chinese Grand Prix. Lando Norris takes the lead of the Drivers' Championship. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Lance Stroll certainly put in an impressive performance today. No doubt his team and fans are extremely proud. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. McLaren supplant the previous leaders, taking control of the championship. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend for them as they fight their way towards the top. And well, and to an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Yeah, Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Not to look forward to. Or to improve on for next weekend. Yeah. Perspective. Let's have yours. Ah, uh, not that great. Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. Maybe. It was more like dodgems than Formula One today, wasn't it? <laughs> great. Well, that's everything. Yeah, guys. I think I'm gonna end the let's play here. We really need to work on our car. Next is the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. And we're looking forward to that. Hopefully we can improve and bring some upgrades to that Grand Prix because we need it. Our car isn't good enough at the moment. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay happy. See you all in the next one. Peace.